Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you the Cooper behind me. So it's a fabulous two bedroom house by Bellway Homes. If you're looking for the pricing or the availability or location, please click the link in the description. But if you want to see the eye candy inside this tour, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Come inside. Welcome. Right. Now that you're inside, let me tell you about what I'm seeing as in first impressions. So now that we're in the hallway, we've got this matting at the, the bottom, which is great for not tracking in dirt or anything. Straight off the matting, we've got this really great uh, flooring as well and wood grain effect. Again, these are options that are up to you to decide. Um, specifications are all determined based on the development. And so it's just a nice um way for me to just tell you what you're seeing here but just bear that in mind that it's up to you to customize what you'd like in your house so we've got a radiator here we've got a security system there the front door is obviously behind me and then through here is the downstairs toilet so let's look at the downstairs toilet the flooring continues all the way through so it kind of makes the space feel a lot bigger as well you know enhances that we've got a two-piece suite with a sink and a toilet and a radiator a window as well which means that it's going to be nice and fresh and well ventilated in there and then guys there's a door so let me show you what i mean so you can completely close off this area which creates a nice little enclosed porch area which is great for keeping out the draft from this space which i'm going to show you in a second so you are now in the kitchen so this is the first space you're going to enter when you come into this house is your kitchen and it's a fabulous kitchen again choices and finishes like the worktops and the cabinets are all up to you to decide but i'm just here to give you a good idea of what you're going to get in this house type so in this l-shaped actually it's almost like a u-shaped kitchen nice size we've got our one and a half bowl here a nice sink um with a stainless steel one we've got your worktop here in dark wood effect you've got your window above the sink which is great for obviously um not being bored when you're doing your washing up it looks over the side of your property or well well or the front of your property as well uh, but the side of the development and then this is a washing machine by zanussi a little space for your uh, washing machine you've got storage there the boiler is in here and the boiler is an ideal logic combi esp 135 everything is on soft closers you've got these beautiful wood effect cabinets paired with the wood so there is a theme going on isn't it it's very earthy i love these handles as well and this kind of slimline chrome handles very modern again cabinets they're not taken all the way to the top so it's more standard you've got your extract fan by zanussi you've got your gas hob by zanussi as well and your oven by zanussi again so very good specification of appliances storage which consists of shelving throughout the whole top layer and then on the bottom we've also got storage here and then you've got your cutlery drawer and more drawers on soft closers there you've got your space for your fridge freezer there it's been as the new sea fridge is shown here so you can see it's quite a nice space wide enough to fit most standard freestanding fridge freezer and then yeah that's the kitchen an additional door here i'm going to show you this is where your services are and it's also your cloak so when you come straight in from a cold chilly day come straight into the space hang your cloak coats and put your shoes away and then that's your fuse board bt all that other stuff the boring stuff that makes the building run and then that's your staircase going all the way to the first floor so let's keep it moving so through these this door <laughs> i was going to say these doors there's only one through this door is your dining and living space lovely and well proportioned it's got a rear aspect facing the rear garden and i love that i love the fact that it kind of cradles that view of the garden bringing in that sunlight which is really fantastic and yet there's still a space for a tv in the far end so i think in terms of proportion it's fantastic you've got a three-seater there and another maybe two slash three-seater over here end table space as well and i think in proportions like i said before it is a really really well proportioned room you've got these double doors 
facing the back garden. As you can see, the general arrangement, we're just going to show you just there because we know quite a few people are always interested in seeing the gardens. So you can see the garden, which gives you an, a kind of a sort of taste for what you're going to get. And then you can see the garage over there as well, um, easily accessed from the garden. And you can see the paving and the lawn and then everything else like the plants, the trees, the little cute little tiki bar at the end um, the willow park bar that as you can see over there is not standard and it won't come with the property um, but yeah it just gives you an idea of what you can do and it's quite an imaginative way to play on the space you've got there so let's look at the next space there and that's this one over here so let me just show you what's going on here this is additional storage space so for you know vacuum cleaners cleaning equipment whatever can just go in there and i would advise you put um you ask for them to upgrade that to have lighting so you can see in there as well so again this is the dining nook as you can see and it's staged at the moment with a four seater i think it could easily fit a six seater because it's actually quite nicely proportioned for four people and you can definitely see that there's enough space to upsize if you wanted to so let's keep moving and let's go to the first floor so now that we're on the first floor landing let me show you the first room of the two on this floor so the first room over here with a rear facing window which looks over the garden is your first double bedroom so as you can see you can see one of the panes opens so on a hot day ventilation through there you've got sockets either side of the bed again those are movable depending on what you like you've got a king size bed and i want to point out guys it's not a double it's a king size bed so just know that they've gone with upsized furniture to give you an idea of what you could do but again, you could obviously scale it down or up if you want to. Bedside tables either side, large headboard, really nicely framed by the wallpaper. I love that. And then over here, we've got our wardrobes with the sliding doors, fitted wardrobes. You could opt for non-fitted wardrobes if you want. Um, it's completely up to you, but it gives you an idea of the type of space you have after you've fitted the wardrobes and the bed, what you've got left to play with. And there's still enough space. So let's keep looking in addition to that guys we've got this over here which is your wardrobe space additional bonus wardrobe space or additional store you might want to put a light in here guys depending on what you store in there maybe it could be a shoe closet or a shoe gallery so it's completely up to you it's nice to have that additional bonus space so let's go into the next space which is our family bathroom so in our family bathroom, we've got a three-piece suite by Rocker. You've got a bathtub, which is quite a wide bathtub as well. It's always worth paying attention to the width of the bathtub. You can get them in different sizes. And if they're small, it means the bathroom's probably smaller, so they've had to downsize. But not in this case. They've gone with a nice size bathtub. And then we've got our sink and our toilet and our radiator over there, not a chrome towel rail. It's just a radiator here. And that's probably closer to what the standard specification will be. So it's good to know that you have that. And then you've got your hidden toilet, hidden cistern behind this wall here, and then a ledge for toiletries. Shaver sockets there as well. And that's pretty much the family bathroom. So next room is over here. So right okay i'm really loving the vibe of this space um this is your primary room so the primary room let's talk about what we're looking at we've got a king size bed over here and again you can upsize that into a super king it is a king size we're looking at we've got two bed sides either side and then we've got fitted wardrobes over here and a dressing table over here which is great so there's enough room if you wanted you can bring it as far back here leaving just space there for the light switch so let's just close the door okay now looking over here we've got a lovely door here and it's utilizing the space above the stairs and the storage space so there's more storage for linen clothes and you can kit this out however with additional storage units a wardrobe and i'd advise that you put a wall light in here so you can see when you're in there again we've got a tv socket slash aerial there so it's 
place for a small TV. That's if you watch TV when you're in bed. And then you've got a window facing the side of the property, quite a wide window with an opening. And this, I bet you can guess already, right? This is your ensuite. So because it's your ensuite, you come in and with this ensuite, you've obviously got a sink and a sink and a toilet. And then it's been tiled in this white high gloss square tile and there's a chrome strip and there's window obscure glazing and then to my right your left there's a glass sliding uh sliding shower um sliding shower doors to your shower and there's showers by Myra, a thermostatic shower. In terms of width, it's quite a nice width. It's definitely close to a meter, if not more. I think it's quite a nice size for this size house to have that as part of your primary bedroom. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this tour so far. Let us know if there's anything that you've missed. And most of all, click one of these links that is going to pop up and subscribe so that when our video pops up, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the meantime, see you later. Bye.